if you're in the building automation and HVAC controls world and you're currently an installer, I really feel like this video will help you to see what goes on on the back end. Uh, maybe you've worked on a unit and it's not turning on and you wish you can see what's going on in that controller. I see all these lights just flashing before me, but I don't know what's going on. Um, if you're a service technician um, working in um, a residential, light commercial and commercial systems, you will also find a lot of things here that might be helpful to you. Uh, in many cases, you deal with safeties like condensate switches uh, where we break the Y so we don't turn on the condenser or the compressor, uh, where we break the R so we don't send 24 volts to the, to the thermostat. Um, but at the end of the day, everything's kind of all the same when it comes to safeties. They're wired up in series. And so those that are currently controls in installation with the build, within the building automation uh, world, you will hopefully with this video you'll be able to see what goes on in, in the back end so um so i got this um program here uh running and what i'm gonna start off uh doing i'm gonna go ahead and create three well actually might create four little squares here um i don't have a lot of space because um, i had to zoom in for this um a specific uh, program here because I wanted you all to see uh, zoomed in uh, windows. Um, I had to ex expand it to 200 um, 200 percent and I want you all to see <laughs> be able to see what's, what's going on you know um, these blocks sometimes are a little bit small but that's fine we'll, we'll make it work. So let's go ahead and put here I'm gonna go ahead and put here schedule um, let's say here we're going to put in uh, temperature, temperature, okay, and then right here I am going to put, um, yeah, we can put a safety, and then down here we'll put a compressor. Now, of course, if, if you're already in, you know, you're already doing programming on, on your end, I mean, this is probably giving you um, a lot of anxiety because, you know, they tend to do the programming very structured, uh, very organized. They have a lot of blocks, but I'm just keeping it simple. And for those that just want to understand the very basics. So, um, so you know, let's say um, you have this uh, and, and, you know, by me putting the, this binary output, you can you can think of this as a contactor coil. A relay coil and one of the videos I um, I put a couple of weeks ago I went over binary outputs and my contactor coil I went over how that contactor coil has the common wire already there present all I'm doing is deciding when that 24 volts goes to the other side of that coil and so with the binary output you have 24 volts um, down here and when I activate binary output one it basically uh, Connects the connects the little bridge between the power and the binary output, sending twenty four volts to my contactor coil. So, can I ideally ideally do this if I wanted to? Um, just um um I'm basically sending it an on signal. So there, I send an on signal to my contactor coil, and right here we can actually put compressor just to make it easier for us. Compressor. Uh, contactor so can I do that can I simply send an on signal here yeah I can but that contactor coil is going to be receiving 24 volts all the time all the time so it's going to be on 24 7 and we don't want that so I could technically do this but that's not a good program but just to start off we can work our way down we'll go ahead and put a um, aug uh, block and all this means is this is a schedule block um, a lot of the controllers, even some commercial thermostats, um, you can set a schedule where you want the system to, to turn on uh, Monday through Friday um, from 8 to 5 p.m. So that means that if it's, um, if it's um, Monday at 6 p.m., it won't turn on because it's past 5 p.m. So I'll send an off signal. But in this case, I'm just going to 
put an on signature so you can see how it works with the schedule block. Um, temperature, we can put an analog input. And so in most cases, we have a thermistor, which gives us a, a temperature reading. So I'll go ahead and put uh, that, you know, right here, I can actually put thermostat. So we'll put here uh, thermostat. Okay. And then here I will put, um, so we can see what temperature we're, we're getting. And down here, I'll put a little label. These labels come in handy a lot. So whatever, whatever number we get from this um, thermistor, this analog input, um, it will reflect on this temp, even though you won't see it, but we're gonna use the same block to create a logic over here, over here down here. So you'll see, you'll see that in a bit. Okay, so we have that. And so my safety, I'm gonna make a video soon on binary inputs. So, um, so let's go ahead and put a binary input. And for this one, we can put a condensate switch, right? So as you know, a condensate switch, it's a normally closed switch. Uh, you got two wires coming out. You have continuity from one, from one wire to the other. If water goes in there and kind of pushes the, the little plunger up, it opens the contact and um, it stops the 24 volts there. So in this case, um, kind of the same concept, we're gonna go ahead and put um, the condensate switch here to this little block. And then I'm gonna put a little label. And this little label here, I'm gonna go ahead and put that there. And I'm just gonna put, um, let's just put alarm. Okay. All right. So we have our schedule block. We have something to read temperature with. Uh, we have our condensate switch, a binary input. And um, so when it comes to cooling, specifically cooling, not heating, let's say the set point is 72. If my thermostat is reading 75, will I have a call for cooling? Yes, I will. Because my set point is 72. The room is reading 75, it's too warm, it's going to activate cooling. So that's what I want to do here with, with the actual um, logic here. So this is what, what we'll do here. We'll go ahead and put, let's say, um, let's, let's put a set point here. So I'm going to put a set point. Okay, so the set point, and, and I'm choosing to do this, right? I'm, I'm putting it here. I'm putting... Uh, default value 72. All right. Now, my thermostat, right? This is a process variable. This number changes, right? It can be cold. It can be hot in the room. It, it changes. So I'm just going to put that up here. And this kind of goes well with, uh, with what we've done in math. If this is greater than that, then I'm going to, um, then yes, it's a true value, right? So and you're going to be able to see it when I simulate the, the program here. So let's go ahead and, and, and send this out here. But before we go and send the on signal to the binary output, which powers up the contact recorder, we have a couple of things we have to include. So I'm going to put an AND block here. And you have a couple of different AND blocks, right? And, and these are very sim simple to, to understand. Um, so let's say, for example, uh, this one right here, right? You got two lines on the left side and then one on the, on the right side. So let's say if I am hungry and I have money, I'm going to go to in and out right? These two conditions need to be true. Um, if one of them is not true, right? If um, I'm hungry, but I don't have money, then it is a no signal. And, and that's basically the same with these two. These three here have to be true. So I can send an on signal. So the first one there, we're gonna put uh, this one here, right? If my temperature is above my set point of 72, yes. Go ahead and send an on signal because it's too warm. I wanna turn on the compressor. We're also gonna put this alarm here and we actually have to uh, flip it. So we're gonna go ahead and flip it. Okay, so let's go ahead and put uh, now this uh, schedule block, okay, and and you know what? This one here, 
might be a little confusing because you might think, hey, um, alarm? Yes, there's an alarm. So it's very important how we word things. So I'm going to put, I'm just going to put uh, no alarm. And you see now we get a red because it's not matching each other. So now I got to change this one to no alarm. And now you see they link up to each other. So, so this uh, content is switch. If it is a yes signal, that means there is a path. Uh, from one wire to the other, there's continuity, and that is a yes signal, no alarm, right? Now, if it trips, it's gonna it's gonna be a no signal, or it's gonna be no. And I can actually, it's pretty cool because I can actually put here alarm, and then for the active state, I can put um, okay. So um, right now it says alarm because I haven't. This is in in, in a false. And you'll see it when I simulate, simulate the, the program, okay? But just go, kind of going back to this, we have the schedule block right here, right? So if it's Monday through Friday from 8 to 5, it's going to send an on signal. If it's at 6, if it's 6 p.m., it's going to be off. So even if one of these is off, right, if these two are on, this is uh, off or false, it won't send an on, on signal. All these three have to be true. So schedule on. My binary input has to have no alarm, right? It has to be the it has to have an on signal. And if my temperature is greater than 72, go ahead and send an on signal. So let's go ahead and simulate it. The screen's gonna get a little smaller, but I will walk uh, I will walk the program uh, with you. So let's go ahead and put a play on that. So you see, it still says off right here. You can see off uh, because I haven't um, I haven't mess with with the with the blocks here but let's say we said it was 75 so let's say it's 75 degrees okay that thermistor is reading 75 degrees so i'm gonna put 75 and boom 75 right here and because this temp label is linked to this up here that right here temp it also that that means 75 as well and i have it over here so you see 75 if 75 is greater than 72, go ahead and send an on signal. But, and this is the point I'm trying to drive when it comes to safeties, yeah, because a lot of the times you see the wires physically wired up, but in building automation and programs, it's on the back end. So right now, my safety is tripped because it is off, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, send an on signal. And as you can see, my my safety is good right now it's good it sends an it sends an on signal and then you follow this middle line you see these three lines right now they're all on i'm gonna send an on signal sending 24 uh closing the switch between power and binary output one sending 24 volts to the contact recoil but in this safety here and i can have a lot of safeties i can have more and blocks more 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 safeties here if any of them trip, and for example, this one here, if it trips and I put it off, you see it's an alarm and then it won't send 24 volts. And so that's the point I'm trying to drive here. Um, so you can see if a safety is trip, it will not send 24 volts to whatever it is that you're trying to turn on. It needs to be in the closed position. And, and sometimes a lot of uh, programmers will program, program this the opposite way, where if it's off, then that's 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 a yes, but they have to put a not block, and and so that's that's a whole different different thing. But I like to keep it simple. So if it's good, sends an on signal. Then all these are on. Uh, then that's gonna send an on an on signal. So we're just simulating it here. Let's go back to the uh, to the uh, to the other page here. So you know, as you can see, programming can be very fun. Of course, when it's an, an easy program and easy equipment, uh, you don't have a lot of things going on. But what I wanted you to see is how you can put another AM block and you can have another safety going, on, going to the fourth line. And if any of those safeties trip, then it won't send an on signal. So I'll be working on binary input soon so you can physically see what goes on and you'll be able to see how that ties in with uh, the program on the back end. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll, I'll catch you on the next video.